The area where the Augusta Boys and Girls Club for Teens holds its activities now off limits. Signs posted on the doors and windows telling people not to enter. A peek into an office area there where a bed bug detecting dog was called in on Tuesday and made an immediate hit near a cardboard box. The dog hit that very hard and but then gave indications as it scanned the entire room that there was a presence. She Community Services Director Leif Delin says they believe the bed bugs are under the wooden floors, but he's confident they've nipped this problem in the bud, but they aren't taking any chances. We also uh, surveyed and sniffed out the entire Bucher Center, and fortunately it's isolated to just two small areas here in the Boys and Girls Club. Small area, it doesn't matter. It's an area that has them, so we have to mitigate and eliminate so that we do not have this turn into a significant infestation. Okay. This is now the second time a city-owned building has had a problem with bed bugs. Back in July, the Augusta City Center had to be treated for the same problem. Rugs ripped out, furniture removed. Now the city has been forced to make some changes. Jackets and gloves and, and clothing for folks. Uh, we have ceased doing that for the fear that those could be the, the uh, uh, transmitter of bed bugs into our building. So we'll stop taking any, any donations. These Coney High School students use the community center quite regularly and hadn't heard the news. Gross. Like, it's, I don't, someone probably brought it in. You, you bring it home and, ew, no, no. So the Boys and Girls Club uh, Teen Center uh, has been moved, all programs, to the upper floors behind me. Uh, they say that that'll be probably a couple of weeks because that's how long it'll take for the chemicals to work. Again, that dog sniffing do uh, dog will be back here to sniff around for any signs of bed bugs. Uh, if it's given the all clear, the kids will be able to move back down here. And the city tells me they're going to hire that bed bug sniffing dog at least once a month at a cost of $125. Uh, an hour. Good thing they say she works pretty quickly. We're live in Augusta tonight. Jim Keithley, WMTW News 8.